Happy birthday to the United States of America, and we are happy to be here in the City of Lights for the 241st birthday of the best nation around. Are you excited to be here, Aurora? Technical difficulties won't stop us. We are happy to have you here. We are looking forward to a wonderful parade here in the City of Lights. We're about 10 minutes past schedule, but we're going to catch up and have a great time. So thank you. Let's give one more big round of applause for being here on a beautiful day, the 4th of July, here in the city of Aurora. Our colors have been posted already by the American Legion Post. They had to get to the front of the parade. We're going to ask that our guests stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Our pledge is led by Aditya Balsakar, who is a leader of, you guys can come right down front of the stage, front of the stage here, who is a leader of Meaningful Summer, a nonprofit, you can line up all across the front, a nonprofit based here out of Aurora, founded by our young high school students at Matia Valley High School, and they work to build up meaningful things for nonprofits and community service. Let's give them a round of applause. We're very proud. This is what we are all about. Leading us in the pledge, Aditya Balsakov. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And leading us in the national anthem, 12-year-old from Waldo Middle School, recently moved to Aurora from Chicago. He said, because Aurora is the best. A talented young man who came to visit the mayor with his class and said, I have a dream to be a singer. And he sang for us. And he is here now to lead us in the national anthem. Please welcome Nathaniel Mojica. Chicago, but he's Aurora's now! So proud of you, Nathaniel. Let's give our young people another round of applause. Please stay standing. Our invocation will be led by Father Trevor McMacken from the City of Light Angelican Church. Good morning. Well, I'm an Anglican, and us Anglicans, when we pray, we like to do it all together. So after each short prayer, I'll say, Lord, in your mercy. And if you want to join me in prayer, just say, hear our prayer. Can we try that once? 
Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. All right, let's pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the people of this land, the United States of America, and of all nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all those who hold office in this city of Aurora, for Mayor Irvin and his team, for all civic, business, and religious leaders, for law enforcement and first responders, and all those who work for peace. Give them your wisdom, love, and justice. Strengthen them so that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve and promote the well-being of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift you've given Aurora of so many nations, languages, and cultures that come together to make our city beautiful. Move in each of our hearts that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and violence and hatred cease. Heal our division, O oh Lord, that we may live in unity, justice, and peace. Lord, in your mercy. We remember our veterans who have given so much. We remember the children and students of this city, all the poor and neglected, homeless and destitute, the old and the sick, the refugee, the widow, the orphan, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body and spirit, that their sorrow may turn to joy. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully accept our prayers and strengthen us to do your will. Scatter the darkness from before our path and shine the light of your love here in the city of lights. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated if you can. Thank you to Father Trevor. Thank you to the entire team. Today is a special day for Aurora. We have a day-long worth of activities planned from our parade this morning to our fireworks tonight that we'll talk a little bit more about throughout the parade. We have a number of special guests who made this day possible, including the American Legion Post 84, Commander Mike Eckberg. We'd like to acknowledge him before he speaks. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Commander. We are also joined on stage by past Grand Marshals and longtime stalwart community leaders here in Aurora. Mr. Dan Dolan Sr. is with us. Let's give him a round of applause. The legendary. Speaking of legends, we are also joined by Miss Mary Lou Champa, past Grand Marshal as well, longtime business leader here in the city. And we're also joined by the leader of this city, born and raised here in the city of Aurora. We know his story all too well. He served in the United States Army, represented and protecting this nation. And he came back to serve right here in this community as an attorney, as an alderman. And 55 days ago, he began his term as the 59th mayor of the city of Aurora. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Mayor Richard C. Irving. Aurora! Let me hear you say yeah! <laughs> all right. Good morning, all, and thank you for coming out today to celebrate the 4th of July, our day of independence. Today is about freedom. We are living in an ever-changing world, and we should reflect on what freedom means to us all. In the words of President Barack Obama, we the people must recognize that we have a responsibility, that our destinies are bound together, that a freedom which only asks what's in it for me, without commitment to others, without love or charity or duty or patriotism, patriotism is unworthy of our founding ideas and those who died in our defense. Abraham Lincoln said, freedom is the last best hope on earth. So today, in between all your celebrations, I would ask that you take a moment to reflect on your freedoms, what it means to you, and how you can use it to make the world around you better for all of us to live. And then recount the words of that song we sing as children. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my father died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. I wish you all a safe and happy 4th of July. God bless you all, and God bless America.
All right, Mayor. The mayor has to get to the parade. We're also joined on stage by Mr. Mac Mason, longtime community leader here, turned 96 years old this week. Please save a round of applause for Mac Mason. If we can hold the mayor's vehicle for Mr. Mason, he's coming with him. Let's give a round of applause. We're gonna escort Mr. Mason to join the mayor. He will be leading in a carriage. Thank you, Mr. Mason. On Ju July 25th, Mayor Irving and his team will be hosting a birthday for all of those 100 years old and older in the city of Aurora. So we honor all of our seniors here in the city. We're gonna escort down Nathaniel and your family. You guys can head over with the mayor. If Meaningful Summers wants to head over with the mayor, you guys all, let's have a great parade as you guys get to the start of the parade. Can we give everyone please a round of applause? We have one poem by longtime Aurora, World War II veteran, Mr. Dick Williams. The poem will be read by the current student board member from East Aurora, School District 131. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Sebastian Chu. This is my day, and your day, and our day, all wrapped in one. The 4th of July, Independence Day, second to none. The best time of all to be seen as America's own. Our tribute for founding and freedom for the best nation known. Your commitment to guarding your liberty measures your worth. This 4th of July and the symbol of this nation's birth. You putting America first in your heart, in your mind, will show you as safeguarding freedom our fathers consigned. Independence Day brings out the pride we Americans feel. For our nation, our flag, all the things which we enhance its appeal. So let's celebrate this day by openly showing our pride. We're Americans gladly and firmly with nothing to hide. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. The parade has stepped off. And to get us in a little bit of more patriotic mood to lead us in a tune, please welcome the amazing, beautiful, and talented ladies of Sweet Reminder. Hey. Amazing, beautiful, and talented. Thank you. I'll Good take morning. it. <laughs> All right, guys. My name is Nancy. This is Dia. We hey. are called Sweet Reminder, and we like to sing a lot of hits from the past decades, 40s, 50s, and 60s. But today, we're going to sing something nice and patriotic, and we'd love it if you would sing along with us. I'm sure you're familiar with America the Beautiful. That's right. Do we have it? We can do it a cappella, I suppose. You want to? That yeah, means we're going to need your help. All right, if we're Come doing this a cappella, okay? you guys got to help for sure. Here we go. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruit and Yeah. 
everybody. God bless America. God bless America. for a sweet reminder. Saints Club banner is coming down. I'm gonna bring up two amazing guys here in the city of Aurora as we join together to announce the parade. What's up, Tavis Gibson and Markel? As we are uh, joined together to announce the parade, let me introduce first the spokesman of West Aurora School District 129, who's performed on this stage a number of times. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Tony Martinez. And joining us as well, the spokesman for the city of Aurora, we call him The Voice. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Dan Farrelly. <laughs> the parade is kicked off. Thanks, gentlemen. Let's have a great time. Happy birthday, America. All right, welcome, welcome. So great to see everybody here today. Such a beautiful day. We are blessed with this great weather and the start of our 4th of July activities here in the City of Lights. And we are going to party on, not only on the 4th of July, but all summer long. We've got many, many special events, family events happening in downtown and citywide. Nice right. to see you, Tony. It's nice to see you, too. It's great to be here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. A couple of West High grads, right? Or actually, West High people. That's Marmion right. grad, West High grad, and uh, yeah, oh, East. I'm yeah! Sorry. <laughs> Let's not forget, off we're on the east, Aurora, though. It's all the, great. That's we're exactly on the east right. side of the river right now. Let's not forget that. Just barely. <laughs> well, I thought that the police were supposed to make the traffic move. Exactly. But they're coming up. I have to talk to Chief Seaman about that. <laughs> we already uh, saw the Exchange Club of Aurora with the banner. They're passing out American flags today as part of their program, Give a Kid a Flag to Wave, an outstanding civic organization serving for decades the Exchange Club of Aurora. All right, I didn't see him hand out any flags, but I guess I, I don't qualify as a kid anymore. Oh, well, there's but, plenty of flags, I think. <laughs> and of course, as they do every parade in Aurora, it's some of our everyday heroes from the Aurora Police Department, without a doubt, the greatest police department in the United States. And I say that because I've lived with these officers and worked with them for 21 years. They are heroic, they're brave, they are at the heart of community service. Speaking of which, Officer Rob Danielle is leading us today in the city of Aurora squad car. We should give him a round of applause for his dedication and service not only to a great city, but to the United States. Rob is one of the many Veterans serve on the Aurora Police Department. After that is our Aurora Police Honor Guard. Now the Honor Guard is made up of volunteers from all levels of personnel. It's a voluntary extra duty assignment that officers take proudly to represent the Aurora Police Department 
at various ceremonial events. I'll tell you what, there is no shout sharper police honor guard in the entire nation than that of the Aurora Police Department. That's right. Let's give them a big round of applause. Let them hear your support, the Aurora Police Department. Here comes Chief Zeman. West Aurora grad, Chief Zeman. The Aurora Police Department Special Response Team has 25 members. The team is trained in high-risk warrant service, barricaded subjects, and hostage rescue. This is the Lenco Armored Vehicle and Light Duty Vehicle Command Post. They were both purchased with seized drug funds. The Aurora Police Special Response Team coming up. We hope to never see them around too much. But just in case we need them, they're always here. I guarantee if you wake up one morning and they're in your front yard, you had a bad, bad night. <laughs> it's always great to see the men and women of our police department patrolling our streets, not only patrolling our streets, but also giving back to the community, strengthening those relationships we have in Aurora. That's why Aurora is second to none the best city in the United States of America. Name the number one city to live the American dream right here in the city of Aurora. Next we have coming up is the 4th of July theme banner. This year's 4th of July parade theme is Party on America in honor of, of the 25th anniversary of Wayne's World set right here in Aurora, Illinois. Carrying the 4th of July banner and all the banners today are Boy Scouts Troop 11. Give a round of applause for the theme banner. And the Royal American Legion Band, you hear this wonderful music. The Royal American Legion Band is in the 79th year of providing patriotic music throughout Northern Illinois. This band is made up of musicians from Aurora and the Fox Valley area, and the band is on the direction of Mike Legal from Major. And the Grand Marshal, let's give a hand for our Boy Scouts camera, Grand Marshal banner, and to the Grand Marshal himself, Jose Tony Galvez. The 2017 4th of July Grand Marshal is Aurora's own, Jose Tony Galvez. Tony is a graduate of East Aurora High School and the founder of the San Antonio Foundation, which raises funds to support the families of children with a variety of illnesses and disabilities. Diagnosed himself with muscular dystrophy at the age of six, Tony demonstrates to all of us that we can do what we want to do if we just put our focus on it and there are no limits. In just two years, the San Antonio Foundation has raised more than $33,000 for area children, as well as organizations like St. Jude's Research Hospital. And let's show some appreciation to Tony. Next up, the feathered American flag that represents all of us as individuals working together to make our country whole. Carrying each flag are volunteers from the East Aurora MJ ROTC, the West Aurora Palms team, West Aurora football team, and the West Aurora softball team. Oh yes. All right, gentlemen, we have a gap in the parade. The mayor got there a little late, so we're gonna have a good time as Mayor Irving makes his way around the corner. Uh, let's at least give the Boy Scouts a round of applause representing the mayor. That's right. I'm certain where the gap came in at. Representing their future mayors right here. And you'll see when the mayor comes around the corner, he's joined by a number of Aurora youth today including the Simply Destiny dance team, Dance Fuse, the Royal Puerto Rican Cultural Council, and Boys to Men, a number of guys working with him and ladies as he makes his way around the corner. If you know our mayor, you know he likes to get out there and dance and have a good time, so that's what accounts for the gap in the parade. I heard the mayor's going to do a little headbanging today, too, at the uh, yes, event. Yes, he will. He's doing headbanging, then cha-cha slide, keep it shuffle. He's, you know, he's, he's down for anything. He's ready to go. 
This has been his dream, you guys, for over 20 years to be the leader of this city, and he is loving every one of his 55 days so far. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome again the mayor of the city of Aurora, Mayor Richard C. Irving! He is joined by Team One Aurora. He is joined by Simply Destiny Dance Team. He is joined by Dance Fuse. He is joined by the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for the leader of our city, Mayor Richard C. Irving. And the team of One Aurora crew in the building. Y'all got some dance moves for us? You're sweating, Mayor. You've been working out down there. <laughs> He don't play. He is in it. What's up, Alex? He still looks fresh. He still looks fresh. <laughs> Here's everyone. All right. Clap your hands, everybody. We're going to do the cha-cha slide a little bit. Woo! All right. There's C. Mervin. Ladies and gentlemen, our deputy mayor is here, too. Deputy Mayor Chuck Nelson in the building. What's up, Kamiko? What's up? Oh, I see all the B21 families and the juniors. What's right. up, everybody? Whole crew out there, thanks for being here. We appreciate you guys. Justin Ball, Mary Ball, Ethan, hey, what's up, buddy? How are you? Evan and the entire crew, what's going on? Sorry, good to see you, Kendrell. Good to see I you love guys. the one Aurora. All right, then there are the kids from the Meaningful Summers crew. All right, they are joined by Dance Fuse. Dance Fuse in the building, Dance Fuse Studios. Thank you to the entire team, Linda White and the crew, for making this happen. We made a quick call to them. They said, we got you. We'll make it happen. Oh, our annual selfie, Linda. They have, they have dance classes six days a week. Make sure you check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Dance Fuse. <laughs> All right, I hear some music. All right, we have next Miss Puerto Rico of Aurora and her court. Please give a round of applause to the Puerto Rican Cultural Council of Aurora, President Jalitza Calon Martinez. Thanks for all your work in making this happen today, Jolly. Thank you to the queens and the princesses and all of the royalty of Aurora. Look at that, Tito, Tito and the crew. I like the tunes, I like the tunes. There he is, there he is. DJ Tito, Tito, Tito right there. Kim B on the microphone. What's going on, Kim B? Kim B. And ladies and gentlemen, joining the mayor's crew, please welcome Simply Destiny! Oh, no, 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 no. You do better than that. Simply Destiny! Simply Destiny! Simply Destiny Dance Team promotes suicide awareness and anti-bullying here in Aurora. They promote a positive environment for youth in the community through music and self-expression. Let's hear it for Simply Destiny. Oh, yes. Right. And following them, rounding out the mayor's unit, it's the dancers from Underground Royalty Ooh. in the building. Oh. Yeah, Neil and the crew. Good to see y'all. Let's give a round of applause to the scouts carrying the city council banner and to the alderman of Aurora. Acknowledge all of our aldermen. First ward, Tina Bowman. Second ward, Juani Garza. Third ward, Ted Messiacos. Fourth ward, Bill Donnell. Fifth ward, Carl Franco. Sixth ward, Mike Seville. Seventh ward, Shakita Hartburns. Eighth ward, Rick Burbine. Ninth ward, Ed Buck. Tenth ward, John Lomche. Alderman at large, Robert J. O'Connor. And Alderman at large, Sherman L. Jenkins. Let's give him a round of applause. Woo! These individuals serve tirelessly for our community and for you. Thank you, City Alderman, for all that you do. They will all be doing a cha-cha slide tonight. Woo! Right, Mama Bug and Drew Bug and the there crew. We we'll see you all later. John Lawson, hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. Before, happy BFK, before, thank you. What's up? Good to see you all. Aurora! And next we have the Roosevelt American Legion Post 84. The Roosevelt Aurora American Legion Post 84 has been serving the Aurora area veteran community for more than 97 years. That's right, 97 years they've been serving the city of Aurora.
Thank you for being here and serving our city of Aurora. State Representative Stephanie Kippelwood in the house. There we go. 84, working hard in Springfield these past few days, right, Steph? Good to see you. Pride and service has been the theme of Navy Band Great Lakes for more than a century. Since 1911, when the band first formed, to 1917, when Lieutenant Commander John Philip Sousa served as bandmaster to today. Their music has represented the pride and professionalism synonymous with the United States Navy. Naval Band. That was great. Next we have welcome the Whaley VFW Post 468 Combat Unit. The Whaley Veterans of the Foreign Wars Post 468 is one of the oldest posts in the state of Illinois and is the only VFW here in Aurora. It started in 1920 and meetings were once held in the Grand Army of the Republic Hall. Let's give a round of applause for Whaley VFW Post 468. This appears to be a 1951 Korean War Vintage Willie Jeep honoring the 2nd Infantry Division, 23rd Infantry Regiment that fought in Korea. And riding in that Jeep today, veterans of the Korean War, Ron Shopey, Jim Koulos, and driven by Rich Gaffino. Next we have the Fox Valley Marines. The members of the Fox Valley Marines have served around the world in World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, or wherever needed. They are active in the community, assisting veterans and other individuals, and are a partner of the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots program. Let's give another round of applause to the Fox Valley Marines. I'm going to give you an idea of probably who's holding up the parade over there. Too much dancing. Never too much dancing in a roar. That's why this city party on is the theme this year. It's a celebration of the birthday. 241st birthday of the city of Aurora. Another round of applause to our Fox Valley Marines, their Toys for Tots programs. They also sponsor fundraisers such as the Hoops for the Troops basketball tournament and the Fox Valley Marine Corps League Annual Golf Classic. And this, ladies and gentlemen, I got ahead of myself, is the 1951 Korean War Vintage Jeep honoring the 2nd Infantry Division, 23rd Infantry Regiment that fought in Korea. Welcome veterans of the Korean War, Ron Shopey, Jim Kulos, and Driver Rich Cafino. Right behind them, another 1951 M38 Jeep. This was modified to World War II with an M100 World War II and Korean War trailer. The presentation by Aurora resident Arlen Peterson recreates a realistic display of a soldier in combat field mode. Arlen served in the U.S. Army in the occupation of Germany after World War II, and this is part of his personal collection representing vehicles, weapons, and uniforms of World War II. Thank you, Arlen, for your service. 
These are amazing, aren't they? Wow. It's a 42 Ford back here. That's yours too? All right, awesome. 1942? Beautiful. In great shape too. Self announcements. Gentlemen, tonight we, we, we wrap up our six month long celebration for the 25th anniversary of Wayne's World. Right here, table access. Here's the float. Wayne's World. We love Aurora downtown. They have a special service area that serves downtown property and business owners. The downtown organization organized the party on the 25th anniversary of the Wayne's World. Just make sure you come out tonight and join us for some headbanging, some fireworks, and great activities and dancing tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah. Headbanging at 9 o'clock down at River Edge Park. We're going to break this world record as we close out the Wayne's World celebration. There you go. Here comes the Phillip Park Zoo Society and Zoo Tram. The Zoo Society is a volunteer group of community members who advocate and fundraise for the unbelievably cool Phillips Park Zoo. Come out for a visit because with animals, playgrounds, a splash pad, sunken garden, and so much more, it's always a great day at Phillips Park Zoo. Special shout out to that driver, Ms. D. Basile. And I love you and your family. She's such a trooper. Mom passed away and she is still here. So thank you, D. You're in our prayers. And there's always something new at the Phyllis Park Zoo. I love going there. Little Tony likes going there, watch, looking at the animals, the great things they have there. Of course, movies in the park at Phyllis Park. Yes, Select right. Saturdays during the entire summer. Yeah. Hop onto the city's website, the new and improved, the new and improved. city's website. Tony Martinez called it beautiful the other day, so they, we're a standard there. Yeah. Every other Saturday night, <laughs> gotta cut him off before he adds on to that. Every other Saturday night, movies in the park, eight o'clock. All right, now we have the Lamplighter Barbershop Chorus. The Lamplighter's Barbershop Chorus has been a member of the Fox Valley family since 1946, entertaining with their unique American bread style of music. Let's just take a little moment right now to hear their wonderful vo voices. All right. They love to share their music at local parades, singing valentines, retirement homes, and special events like birthdays and anniversaries, and have presented more than 60 annual shows. Customers with a Cause are up next. They're a local group of volunteers with big hearts and creative talents who are all out to make a difference in the world. They work with children's charity organizations and charity events to promote community growth, unity, and hope for children's futures. Together, they believe that a world of difference can be made with a smile, photo, or a single hello to make a, children's, a child's day brighter. Next we have, a, do I see a clown over there? Oh yeah, I sure do. We have Aurora's famous resident clown, Pancakes. Has been clowning around for more than 25 years. She is available for parties, corporate events, family gatherings and charity events, and offers face painting, balloon twisting, magic shows, games and more. Visit her at her music and magic in the park, located at Garfield Park in Aurora later this July and August. Let's give a round of applause for Pancakes the Clown. Yes, we know these folks well. Yes, we do. It's the Kiwanis Club of Aurora, a global organization of volunteers dedicated to ch ch uh, changing the world, one child and one community at a time. Aurora Kiwanis, best known for their famous Pancake Day and their successful right. Peanut Day. These fundraisers also allow Kiwanis to give money back to programs that benefit the children in Aurora, like Boy Scouts Troop 53, marching with them today and carrying the flags of pre-colonial America. Happy Independence Day from Aurora Kiwanis, and they say, party on, Aurora. Party on. Shout out to the president of Kiwanis, Fourth Ward Alderman Bill Dinell.
Art you need them in the crew. You guys look at Oh, cool look at that. Go. They're riding in style over here. I need to get a part of Kiwanis here so I can ride in one of those. <laughs> That's how they ride. Yeah. Oh, like Tony, your, your district car is well enough, Tony. <laughs> Don't get me started on the city car. <laughs> Oh, look at that Porsche, guys. Yes. Oh, man. Dig it. <laughs> Tuesday is the Prisco Center, right there. I got, you gotta thank love, you, Kawanda. So thank you for all that you do. You've got to love the announcements right from the cars, man. I love Aurora, man. <laughs> Here comes the Aurora Fire Department Honor Guard, and they are made up of volunteers from all levels of the Fire Department personnel. Thank you to some more Everyday Heroes, members of the premier fire department in the nation, the Aurora Fire Department. Aurora Fire Department in the house. Gotta give a shout out to Chief Krenitz, proud graduate of Wabonzi Valley High School. All right. I need to talk. Hello, thank you, Aurora Fire Department. Here they come with the water, here they come with the water. They have nine fire stations serving the city. They have nine engines, three trucks, and seven ambulances. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The AFD responds to over 16,000 incidents. They have more than 90 paramedics and more than 80 EMTs, a sworn fire department list of 191. And everybody at the Aurora Fire Department wishes you a happy and safe Independence Day. 16,000 incidents. That's amazing. Right. Thank you. Here comes the water. Here comes the water. Uh oh. Here we go. Wave your hand. You want to get spray? Welcome to the 4th of July in the city of Aurora. I'm going to carry in handy. Hey, what's up, Deputy Chief Gilbert? We need some music on so you can just dance your night away. <laughs> We'll see you downtown tonight, Deputy Chief. Let's give you the applause hey, going for Aurora man. Fire Department. Exactly. Good to see you guys. Hey, look at everybody. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our Chief of the Aurora Fire Department, Chief Greenheads, proud graduate of Wabonzi Valley High School. Hey. of the Boy Scouts of America in partnership of the Aurora Fire Department. The Aurora Fire Department Explorer Post 99 was founded in 2002 with eight original members and has since grown to 25 members aging from 15 to 20 years old. These young individuals are taught the skills and fundamentals of today's firefighting EMS jobs along with the tradition, honor, discipline, and excellence of the fire service. The Everyday Heroes of Tomorrow. Yeah. The Explorer Post. In fact, the AFD is uh, also starting a cadet program. The Aurora Regional Fire Museum is up next. They're lo located, of course, here in beautiful downtown Aurora. They include exhibits on the history of firefighting, the Aurora Fire Department, fire safety, a children's discovery room. Featured in the parade, Aurora's 1921 Stutz Purse engine. Now, this engine was purchased by the city in 1921 and it protected the city until its official retirement back in 1964. Now coming up next is the 1964 American La France aerial truck which wow. saw most of its service as truck two operating out of Aurora Central Fire Station. The museum is a perfect place to visit with the family, group tours, scouting programs. You can learn more about the museum online Aurora Regional Fire Museum.org. Aurora Regional Fire Museum. Awesome. Great to tour there. And now we welcome the old Second National Bank. Proud to be a sponsor of the 4th of July Parade and proud to be an American bank for more than 140 years since 1871. 
So thank you for the old Second National Bank for all that you do. Next we have our Cub Scout Pack 215. Here come the Pack of 215 of Nancy Young Elementary School here in Aurora, Illinois. 215, I hear that loud and proud. All right. We're very excited, gentlemen. Grab this one. We announced a little bit earlier that on Tuesday, July 25th, Mayor Irving will be hosting the first ever 100 and plus birthday party for our Aurorans who are 100 years old and older. We also will be celebrating all those who are one year old. So make sure you check out the website to register. We are joined today by a number of our seniors who are, 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 are represented here in Aurora. Please give a round of applause for our centenarians and all of those who represent the senior citizens of the city of Aurora. I see you, Ms. Marjorie Logman. Good to see you. Thanks for everything that you do. We appreciate you. Thanks for representing. We have a number of those who are 100 years old this year at Plum Landing who will be joining us for the big birthday party. Margie represents Plum Landing, all of Aurora and everything else. So thank you, Miss Margie, as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the first mother of Aurora. It is the mayor's mother, Mother Paula Irving, here with us. Thanks for all that you do. She recently retired from a 20-year career as a 911 operator. Thank you, Miss Paula Irving. And that is a tough, tough job, especially when you do it over that long a time. They really are the, uh, the really first link between the public who needs help and all of the first responders in the city. Here comes Presence Mercy Medical Center. They're part of Presence Health, one of the newest healthcare systems in Illinois. Check out their float theme, get healthy, stay healthy. It focuses on people taking small steps every day to share in that responsibility for staying healthy. Presence is recognized for excellence in heart, stroke, cancer, orthopedics, diabetes, and behavioral health care, and robotic surgery, plus top marks and patient satisfaction and safety. Presence Mercy, today counts. All right, Presence, here we go. DJ Borg. And next we have the award-winning precision driving team of the Aurora Era Shrine Club with more than 60 years having fun helping kids in the Aurora area. Always. This is always a great crowd pleaser. Look at this precision driving. As they line up to salute the troops. All right. Thank you for being here, Aurora Shrine Club. We're joined on stage now by Alderman Hart Burns, Alderman Franco, and the mayor, Mayor Richard C. Irving, as they make their way back from that long trip throughout downtown Aurora. Ah, the East Aurora cheerleaders, Mr. Martinez. There you go. Let's give a big cheer for the East Aurora School District 131 Elementary and Middle School Cheerleaders. You can see their performances annually at the City of Lights Cheer and Dance Competition. All right, look at these young ladies here. That dedication, walking in the parade. Let's give them a big ear. Surprised I haven't forgot about that yet. It's in my he blood, Martinez. It's in my blood, blood, man. We bleed red and black. All of us, including you, who were born and raised on the east side of Aurora, <laughs> Mr. Spokesman of West Aurora Schools. <laughs> That's good. Feel like Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have the Aurora Boxing Club. Oh, that's right, they're pumped up. The Aurora Boxing Club is proud to call Aurora home. The number one city to reside in, and our members and their members represent the best of our youth. So happy birthday, America, from the Aurora Boxing Club. Yes. Don't Love forget about champions. the champions. City of Lights tournament coming up, too, in October. October 7th and 8th. Proud of you guys. Holding it down. Hey, what's up, brother? Good to see you. All right, all right. You look like you want to take the microphone on this one. I don't have a script, so go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> Next, we have the East Aurora 
summer band. And they're in the green. They're, they're, they're maybe they're feeling lucky. You see the hate, Rich? You see the hate? See, we can't get the Western Aurora spokesman to give shouts for the East Aurora. So I'll do it. EA! Let me tell you, this East Aurora summer band, let's take a listen to them. They've only been practicing for one week. This is their summer band camp. They pull it together. Hey, Ange Riley, how are you, man? They pull it together. Let's take a listen to the East Aurora summer band 2017. Miss Amy Huggins, Daryl, everybody leading the crew. Oh, we know this song. We have the bookmobile of the Aurora Public Library. Red, white, and blue bookmobile. Remember to sign up for Aurora Public Library Summer Reading Challenge. Build a better world at any of the library locations, including the bookmobile. They always have great wonderful programs. Make sure you stop by the beautiful, beautiful facility right there on River Street in Benson. Let's go to the west side of Aurora now. Oh, Freeman right. Elementary's Cub Scout Pack 312. Freeman! They participate in scouting activities throughout the school year and in the summer. This year they've been awarded Scouting's Journey to Excellence Gold Level for their high quality program. Congratulations, gentlemen. Cub Scout Pack 312 from Freeman Elementary School. That's right, District 129 representing right here, Freeman. Next we have, let's give a big cheer for good health and our friends at VNA Healthcare. VNA has been in Aurora for 99 years. Come go to the VNA for high quality, affordable healthcare. Your care team members are your partners who work with you to help you achieve your best health. VNA is your home for healthcare, the place you can go to for care every time. Thank you VNA for all that you do for our community. Thank you. Got all silent there for a second. Got rid of we're all the bands. Yeah. Definitely. We're proud, City of Aurora is proud of our partnership with VNA for our farmer's market. So every Wednesday, beginning next Wednesday, July 12th, you can go over to VNA for fresh farmer's market produce, fruits, vegetables, and all some wonderful things, healthy food over at the VNA. We're very proud of that partnership four years long now with our farmer's market and the VNA. Oh, look at these gentlemen here. The Knights of Columbus, Marquette Assembly, a Catholic fraternal order of men. Their families dedicated to the principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. The Marquette Assembly is made up of individual councils from Aurora, North Aurora, Batavia, and Geneva. The Knights of Columbus, in service to one, in service to all. Let's give a round of applause for our Knights of Columbus. of Galumpa and Santa Maria. Beautiful floor. Wow. Thank you, Knights of Columbus. Next up, the Citizens Police Academy alumni of Aurora. These are the epitome of volunteers for the Aurora Police. They've been doing it since 1994, and they are the oldest uh, Citizen Police Academy alumni organization in the entire state of Illinois. 
They provide continuing education to members. They provide financial and volunteer services to the Aurora Police Department and the community. And I'll tell you what, Chief Zeman and the Aurora Police Department depend on these volunteers to help us out at all kinds of events. And they even uh, have given us uh, some very important tools to help keep the city safe that we did not, that we were not able to budget for. The Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association. And now we have our Kane County Mounted Rangers. The Kane County Mounted Rangers are a volunteer equestrian organization that serves as ambassadors for the Forest Preserve District. They voluntarily serve as an arm of the district's public safety department by patrolling the forest preserves and helping with both foot and vehicle traffic at special events. They have been volunteering since 1983. So thank you. Thank you. Give them a round of applause for our Kane County Mounted Rangers. And as the horses come by, we're going to ask that we bring it down just a little bit. We almost had an accident a couple of years ago, remember? <laughs> so, so that we don't startle the horses, we can kind of do the silent clap or maybe the poetry finger clap, finger snap there. We don't want to run into the horses or anything. And behind every great horse is a street sweeper. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping her on clean. We are joined next by the brothers of the Keystone Mason Lodge. Mr. Mayor Irvin, here come your fraternal brothers. Let's give a round of applause for the street team in the city of Aurora. We just couldn't keep this city so clean. It's a beautifully clean city. You go out to any other big city in the country, you know that we strive hard to make certain that our streets are clean. Please give a round of applause to Keystone Lodge number five, the free and accepted Masons here in the city of Aurora. We are honored that the Masons are here celebrating anniversaries, working in this community. The Grandmaster who are here, the work that they do to give back to this community is absolutely amazing. Mayor Richard C. Irving himself, a member of the Masonic Lodge, Keystone 15. What's up, Zach? What's up, Rick? Everyone else. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you. Just to give an example, every year they do what's called Read for Rides, where they provide bikes to students here in the city of Aurora for reading. So let's give one more big round of applause to the work of the Keystone Masons, Lodge number 15. Meet the Indian Community Outreach Board. They're chaired by Gutambatia and promotes and preserves Indian culture for Aurora's residents. They host several cultural events, including uh, Diwali and Ballywood Night at Phillips Park. This year, the board established uh, an important scholarship fund that recognizes and supports college-bound high school students. The board actively works with the city and other community organizations, which make Aurora one of the most vibrant and diverse cities to live in the USA. Please give them a rousing welcome to the Indian American Cultural Outreach Advisory Board. Now we have our AKA Dance Studio. Let's hear it for AKA Dance Studio. It's located in downtown Aurora on Downer Place. AKA offers classes for adults and children as well as a competitive dance company instructed by Katie Persilis and Annie McWilliams. In its first year, AKA Dance Company has earned regional top awards across the Midwest and has had the pleasure of performing at events all over the Chicago land area. And they love being part of downtown Aurora. And next we have our Aurora Area Democrats, recognizing Senator Linda Holmes, Willie Mays, and Representative Linda Chapelavia. 
Hey, K-Kind Democrats in the house, the Royal Democrats in the house, the entire Democratic right. crew in the house. What's going on, Juan Reyna? What's up, Barbara? All right, thanks for serving our community. God, those Democrats are rowdy. Come back in line. Let's go, let's go. Good to see everybody. Thanks for all the work that you do. Alex Arroyo, we see you. I like the names of the shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for another Masonic Lodge, the Raboni Lodge. Please give a round of applause of the Masons coming out to the city of Aurora to represent. Good to see you, brother, as well there. The regular Grand Lodge of the, city, of the state of Illinois, thank you for your participation. All right, an exception of the Democrats of Aurora, we got Willie Mays here. Oh, Willie Mays for sure. Thanks for being on parade, braving the warm weather, walking, supporting. Well, he made about voting. How about it? Another run. Kane County Clerk John Cunningham now presents the Kane County Vote Mobile. The Vote Mobile provides a complete voter registration facility, plus a voting location that travels from one end of the county to the other providing easy access for all voters. The Vote Mobile has all the necessary equipment for every voter in Kane County to cast their ballot independently. Preserve your freedom and vote. For more information, visit them online at kanecountyelections.org. That's right, remember to always exercise your right as a citizen to vote. And next we have our that's a nice looking truck there, our Aurora Township. All right, Aurora Township provides youth and senior services, including a ride in Kane County program, providing rides for seniors and the disabled, plus after school, summer, and sports programming, and free summer breakfasts and lunches to Aurora area camps. Shout out to Township Supervisor Bill Katzin driving Bill the truck. Gotcha. Thanks, Bill. When did he get his license back? Oh, look at this legendary name for the United States of America. Another Kennedy has hit the streets of the city of Aurora. Please welcome Chris Kennedy, Democratic candidate for governor of Illinois. Chris is the son of Ethel Kennedy and the late Senator Robert Kennedy. He and his wife Sheila has been married for 29 years and live in the suburbs with their four children. Chris and his volunteers would like to wish America a happy birthday, and his volunteers would like to wish Chris a happy birthday as well. So happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Another Kennedy in the streets. That's Jerry right. Jones, good to see you. Colette, what's up, everybody? The diva with the Kennedys. <laughs> well, we thank you again. As he makes his way through, let's give another round of applause for Chris Kennedy here. That's right. What an iconic family he represents in this country. Thanks for your Korean service. Thank you for yours. The Fox Valley Park District's award-winning A Factor Dance Company is up next. Made up of more than 40 members, the dancers perform at local festivals and special events. They join in on local and regional competitions. They've received multiple high awards, including many first place finishes. In the summer of 2018, the A Factor Dance Team will be performing in a parade at Epcot at Walt Disney World. Wow. The Fox Valley Park District's A Factor Dance Team. Let's give them another round of applause. Let's hear it. Next we have Susical Junior, premier theater company. The Fox Music Band, Music Man. <laughs> they flip flopped. They, they flip flopped. They didn't tell us. Theater Company Fox Valley Park District also presents Summer Stay 2017, The Music Man. This year, in the 60th anniversary of the classic, classic Broadway hit, come see the community local actors perform in the family friendly musical for all ages from July 23rd to July 23rd. Directed by the legendary Arlene Hawk. Arlene Hawk. There we go. Mother Hawk's in the house. Next we have Jesus Cristo 
es el Señor. Que vamos a morir en la Iglesia de Jesucristo, el, en ese, el Señor. Jesus Christ is Lord Church. Was well, established in 1983 and has been serving the community of the Aurora for 34 years. And they are followed by the Christian Motorcyclist Association, a motorcyclist friendly fellowship, and a mystery whose, whose cornerstone is Jesus Christ. Each weekend, CMA members go into the highways and byways of America, taking the love and the light of Christ to the lost and the hurting, serving at motorcycling events of every sort. From distributing water in the heat of the day, to flagging races, picking up trash and more, CMA members look for ways to serve and hear if you need us whenever and wherever possible. I was tempted to buy a motorcycle myself. <laughs> they always roll deep. Thanks so much for all that you do for the city. We're going to see you, brother. Always. Nice pick up truck, too. That's an nice pick up truck. We love it. We love it. They have bubbles and everything. Good to see you all. Handing out free bottles of water. Always up the community. CMA in the house. All right, next we have Rosary and Marmion. Woo! Rosary High School is a Catholic college preparatory high school for young women in Aurora. We also have Marmion Academy. It's a Catholic Benedictine college preparatory high school for young men in the Aurora. And it started in 1933. Rosary started in 1962. Another round of applause for Rosary and Marmion. Young men and women, those cadets there. Tony's a proud grand of Marmion. <laughs> we have the head of school, go. Anthony Tinarella here. That's it. Right. In the shorts, in the short sleeve. Of course, Abbey Farms, they've got fun activities for the family, like pumpkin days, Christmas trees, the seasonal store, a whole bunch more. All the proceeds benefit the months of Marmion Abbey. Make sure you catch Marmion Abbey. A lot of activities out there for all ages. You know any grads? Uh, I know a couple of grads here and there. <laughs> like Park District and Paul and Bills. Look, that looks together. like Paul and Bills. A solid community member for 55 years, Paul and Bills would like to welcome Blackhawk Park to the neighborhood. Residents of Aurora will soon be able to enjoy the beautiful Black Hawk Park open space cared for by the Fox Valley Park District. See you at the park. Yes. Yeah, Paul and Bill. Paul and Bill. Never need some gas. You can fill up for the Paul and Bill. Need a car wash go there. They do a great job. Paul and Bill. You are pressed up. They won last year's contest. For the best decorated float. Probably oh, yeah. a good contender yeah, for this year as well. See you all. Oh, you that's right. Look at that car. Good to see you. Love you back. Wow. Next, we have the Aurora Hispanic Chamber Dollars for Scholars. Let's give a round of applause to these young leaders. The Aurora Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Dollars for Scholars presents Miss. Fiestas Patrias of Aurora, a scholarship pageant that understands the importance of education communication, leadership, and social development. Yes. They will be helping us lead the Fiestas Patrias Parade on Sunday, September 17th. September 17th, thank you, Dollars for Scholars. It's in their fourth year, the scholarship pageant. Hey, you guys, Susan Salinas, what's going on? Thanks for all of your work. And then we have Miss 2016 Teen Queen Daniela Martinez, the first princess. Elizabeth Rios and Fiesta Patrias of Aurora 2016 Queen, Diana. Seems like I read this one at every parade. It's the world famous kitchen sink. Been making memories for more than 35 years in Aurora. Six scoops of vanilla, chocolate and strawberry ice cream. Toppings of chocolate, pineapple and strawberry. I'm gaining 20 pounds just reading this. Covered with fresh whipped cream. 
Toasted almonds and the cherry. Fun for the whole family team, or just for you, Clayton. Located in 1961 West Galena in Aurora, Colonial serves breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course, legendary ice cream. And if you can't make it over today, stop by Tony Martinez's office. He will treat you to one any given day of the week. Thank you, Tony, for supporting the community. No problem. Ballet Folklore go Kitsa Kowalta! They are absolutely amazing, serving this community for decades, bringing families together and promoting and enhancing culture. Let's give a round of applause to Ballet Folklore go Kitsa Kowalta! I'm in Santiago. Keep doing well, bro. That's it, that's it, that's it. You can wait for that, Martin. Oh, this is our future, Aurora. Let's keep the applause going. They work hard. They practice every week. They practice every week, dedicate tons of hours, but then they do shows for community events, parades, birthday parties. Wonderful group. So thank you, Ballet Folklorico. What I love about them is they, they make certain that parents are involved. So let's give a round of applause to all the parents. We know that with parent participation, children succeed at higher levels. Oh, bubble machine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Grand home. So we have, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you go by and check out Aurora's own museum, SciTech Hands-On Museum. Inspires learning through creative, interactive activities and educational programs. The museum is located right here in downtown Aurora and has more than 200 mini experiment exhibits, including the outdoor Fox Motion Park. And they sure know how to party on. Discover amazing science, explore technology, and engineering, imagine and create beautiful works of art, and engage with exciting and dynamic mathematics at SciTech Museum, where kids are free the last Saturday of every month. Come on out, Super SciTech Saturdays, last Saturday. Thank you to Ramona Woods driving the SciTech van, Executive Director Arlene Hawks and the entire SciTech family, Camille Kyler and the crew. One more round of applause for SciTech. Good, looking good, everybody. Hey, Robin, how are you? Good to see you. Let's give a big round of applause to the staff and graduates of New England Preschool. They begin their 70th year of providing play-based educational preschool for kids in our community. The teachers walking today proudly represent their continued commitment to bring first educators for our children, honoring the many others who have over several decades helped form the amazing program at New England Preschool. Happy 70th birthday, New England Preschool, and happy birthday, America! As now, now wave hello to Iglesia San Pablo. The church's youth are promoting their summer camp program, Vacation Bible School Maker Fun Factory. The summer camp will be held from July 24th to the 28th from 5 to 8, providing the most exciting week of the year to the Aurora kids. Children are provided with a meal, t-shirt, crafts, games, movies, dancing, singing, Bible adventures, and so much more. Make sure you stop by San Iglesia San Pablo this summer. Welcome all the way from St. Cloud, Minnesota, the Solar Sound Marching Band. Solar Sound is a nonprofit organization with student members in grades 7 through 12 from the central Minnesota area. The band has performed in 11 parades this summer and invites you to party on to their music selection, Land of Make Believe. Awesome, all the way from Minnesota. I think everyone knows this next group. We have Wobonzi Community College. Showing pride for Wobonzi Community College are student leaders from the Business Club and Latinos Unidos Student Organization. They both are among the very active groups that offer leadership opportunities, service events, and more for the entire student body to attend and enjoy. So thank you, Wobonzi Community College and the young student leaders. Latinos Unidos in the house! Latinos. Let's see your best princess waves and strongest superhero poses for this next group of people. 
It's Castles and Capes Entertainment. Castles and Capes character parties of Chicago provide princesses, superheroes, and characters galore for parties and special events, turning everyone's dream into a reality. Say hello to your favorite characters and dance along with Castles and Capes. Nice. Beautiful dresses, beautiful costumes. Brave in the warm weather in that dress. I give her kudos for that. Uh-oh, I hear some rumbling. I see some nice looking vehicles coming up here. Next we have Positive Force. They would like to thank the residents of the city of Aurora for having them as a part of this 4th of July parade. They have several new members this year who are very excited to be sharing their Independence Day with you. Members of the Positive Force are excited to show everyone their hard work and dedication to customizing their vehicles and invite car enthusiasts to join. The Positive Force family wants to say happy 4th of July and look at these beautiful cars. They're about to come past in front of the stage. Be afraid to drive one. Last about five seconds. What we love about Positive exactly. Force guys is that they, they bring young people in to learn how to detail cars, how to update them. They give back to the community from here to Elgin, to Chicago. Much more than a car club, they certainly have been, like their name says, a Positive Force in this community for many, many reasons. Thanks a lot, guys. That's right. Takes a lot of time to customize these vehicles. I don't know what they could do to my Buick LaCrosse. Probably nothing. But, uh... Oh, look at that. I gotta admit, I remember when some of these were, you know, <laughs> being advertised on TV. <laughs> when the power went out, we should have just told one of these to roll on. We could have used the sound system. What do you think, Dan? <laughs> That's your G-Force. That's a lot of these. You don't mention the yeah. I think that's Clayton's Escalade they're, they're, they're driving there. <laughs> I think you own the caddy, not me, Martina. <laughs> Between the bass and the hydraulics, we're, we're rocking up on this stage. <laughs> Another round of applause for a positive, positive force, force, car club. All much right. more than a car club, they give back so much to the communities that they're all from. Aurora, Elgin, Chicago, all over. Please welcome Cub Scout Pack 301 and Boy Scout Troop 104 from North Aurora. They were formed in October 2014, and they're dedicated to building good character and citizenship through a variety of scouting activities. Again, we said it. Many times today, some of the future leaders of tomorrow. Happy 4th of July from Cub Scout Pack 301 and Boy Scout Troop 104. Check out the Wayne and Garth at the back of the oh, truck hey. here. Look at this way, guys. Oh, look at that. Party on. <laughs> They're ready for the headbanging contest tonight. Oh, that's 9 right. o'clock at River Edge Park. We'll see you there. We're going to make a world record. All right, now let's please welcome Do or Die Design Salon, our newest neighbor in downtown Aurora. They specialize in cuts, colors, and styles. Stop in the salon at 24 South Stope Avenue and let these ladies give you a do to die for. It's right around the corner on Stope. Right. What can they do with See you in the chair next week? What can you do with this? I don't know. Look at that Bentley rolling by. I like that. Woo! 
Have a round of applause for Do or Die Salon. Look out, it's Batman and Captain America, courtesy of Chicagoland Heroes. And they're here to fight the one good fight this Independence Day. Welcome. All right, now let's give a big round of applause to the Fox Valley Storm Cheer and Fox Valley Gymnastics from the Fox Valley Park District. The Fox Valley Storm's cheer team competed in the Illinois Recreational Cheer Association and last year won bids to state. Fox Valley Gymnastics won multiple championships this past season in both team and individual competition. Both competitive teams practiced at the EOLA Community Center. Here comes the learning experience and Bubbles the Elephant. This child care center is dedicated to cultivating creative, compassionate, and innovative young minds through proprietary curriculum and enrichment programs that increase learning during six critical stages of early development. Their programs help kids maximize their cognitive, physical, and societal potential, or as they say at the learning experience, they help children learn, play, and grow. All right, now let's give a round of applause to a World Relief Aurora DuPage. World Relief DuPage Aurora is a local office of international nonprofit serving immigrant and refugee families throughout the DuPage and Kane counties through three program areas, legal services, refugee resettlement, and education. World Relief DuPage Aurora is a proud to be part of the Aurora community. I would like everyone to give a welcoming round of applause to the all newly naturalized citizens walking in today's parade. Thank you to World Relief. They do so much for the community, so much for a lot of our families here, especially in the West Side School District. A lot of those families, it's great. That big blue bus means it's time for a shout out to First Apostolic Church of Aurora. They've been serving the community for more than 60 years, including free transportation to Sunday school on the big blue bus. May God bless America. That's right. And if you grew up in Aurora, you know that big blue bus really well. Picked us all up, taking us to First Apostolic back in the day. So good to see him still going all these years later. Pastor Bill Colthorpe and the team. Next, we have us give a round of applause and welcome Aurora DJs United Entertainment. Spinning the best Latin, jazz, tribal, and house music in the area. Aurora's DJs United. Let's give a round of applause. All right. Let's do the cha cha slide a little bit. Keep it going. Just a little louder. DJ. Oh, yeah. Let's get I'll see you, Lana. Let's go ahead and jump off. To the left. See you guys. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Cha cha Whoa. now, y'all. Oh, that's all. All the Hart Burns is leading the way. Who else is gonna cha cha with her? To the left. Take it back now, y'all. Hey, what's up, Ben Maria? All right. Now, I think the Gravis Foundation is a rare disease with no cure caused by the breakdown in the communication system between nerves and muscles. I'd like to thank you so much for them for being here today in the Gravis Foundation. Always representing. Always here. Thank you so much. The Collier Community Center is a 501c3 nonprofit organization offering men's and women's conferences, job fairs, and the Save Our Youth program featuring Toys for Tots, back to school events, right, lunches in the park, and much more for more than 300 children each year. Wow. They're in the Keystone Building here in beautiful downtown Aurora, and they wish you a happy 4th of July. Thanks, Evangelist Collier and the entire crew at Collier Community Center. That's right. Shout out to Michi leading the crib. Hey there, Kim. <laughs> What's going on? 
All right, next we have the Fox Valley Montessori. Fox Valley Montessori uses Maria Montessori's unique educational approach to nurturing a child's natural desire to learn. Montessori focuses on the whole child, including cognitive, social, and emotional and physical development. Fox Valley Montessori was established in Aurora 46 years ago. They offer programs for children 18 months through sixth grade. The school is fully recognized by the Illinois State Board of Education and was recently accredited by the American Montessori Society. So thank you for the Mont Fox Valley Montessori for being here in our parade and thank you for serving the city of Aurora. Next, we want to give a warm, fuzzy welcome to the furry friends of the Humane Society of Aurora. Humane Society volunteers work with Aurora Animal Care and Control to provide a better environment for cats and dogs awaiting their loving homes. Walking one of the volunteers today, just a few of the facilities adoptable furry friends who are given vaccinations, microchips, and everything else your new friend needs to start a healthy, happy new life with you. Now remember, when you're ready to welcome a new member into your family, help save lives and don't shop, adopt. Oh, that's right, adopt a friend today. Look at these cute little puppies here. Everything, every animal you see is available for adoption. Make sure you get down to 600 South River. Tony, little Tony said he'd like a puppy next week. Little Tony, come on down and pick out your puppy. Your dad will get it for you next week, I promise. Oh, we'll drop it over his uncle's house right here. <laughs> He'll take care of it. Never home, man. We got you. Next week, little Tony. Next, we have the Tomcat Wrestling Club. They're a non for profit organization that competes in the Illinois Killers. All right. Let's go, Tomcat! Oh, yeah, they were established in 1983 go, with just five Tomcat alumni. What's up, it's a family? It's a feeder, it's a feeder program from East Aurora High School, which houses their practice facilities. The team consists of 42 wrestlers, including seven girls. Among the nine active volunteer coaches are six wrestling alumni. The Imperfect Angels are celebrating their second year is a program for young women ages 10 to 16. The Imperfect Angels help young women learn self-love and respect, prepare for college, develop leadership skills, and take steps to make more valuable choices that will serve them a lifetime. Happy 4th of July from the Imperfect Angels. Thank you ladies for being here today. All right. Great to see those young women groups here in the city of Aurora. Next, we have our 4th Street United Methodist Church. The United Methodist Church has been in Aurora since before Aurora was incorporated. Proud of their tradition of hospitality, care, and service to the residents of Aurora and the surrounding communities, 4th Street United Methodist Church represents God's world at the corner of 4th Street and Marion Avenue here in Aurora, Illinois. Yes. Pastor Deborah Tinsley Taylor, Deborah the Carter Tinsley family. Taylor, that's right. Shout out to the Carter family. Good to see you guys. Here come the members of Laborers Local 582, serving Kane and Kendall counties. And they'd like to wish everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. Also, the members and the officers of Laborers Local 582 would like to thank all veterans, young and old, for their service to our country. That's right, laborers, local 582. Thank you. Uh-oh. I hear some bicycle rings here. How about it? Oh, yeah. That means we have Aurora's own Zaxter Bikes are here. Bike Share makes Aurora a better place for residents, commuters, and visitors. Aurora's popular bike share system launched just last year and is back for 2017 with special deers for riders. Sign up today and get a discount on annual membership plus a free day pass. So ride yourself along this wonderful city of Aurora on our new pathways, the bicycle pathways. You can pick them up at City Hall, the Royal Public Library, and River Edge Park, much like the Divi system of Chicago, but much, much better. Zaxter, right here in the city of Aurora. 
Now welcome W.E. Mundy Landscaping. They've been helping to make Aurora greener and beautiful for more than 50 years. Give another round of applause for W.E. Mundy Landscaping. Longtime community supporter throughout the entire Aurora. Thank you, W.E. Mundy and the entire crew at Mundy Landscape. That's an outstanding old caterpillar machine. It is. <laughs> This is an outstanding newer one. <laughs> Good point. Impressive. Woo! Right. Thank you. Ooh, next we have a little plane. Yeah. Wow. Next we have Simply Fly. Simply Fly is located at our hometown airport, the Aurora Municipal Airport. Fly with them on ex exciting discovery flights around town or along Chicago's beautiful skyline. Ever dreamed of becoming a pilot? Simply Fly is your hometown solution. Talk to them about flight training, aviation-themed birthday parties, and other aviation events. Let's give a warm welcome to Simply Fly, and hopefully they can get through this tide pathway here. One of the coolest experiences of my life is oh my Lord. cruising the uh, I have to take that flag down to Chicago. Chicago. I've been playing for this. You're going to hit your camera. You <laughs> All right, didn't take into account for the wingspan. Right. <laughs> extra labor here. We're gonna bring the mics back a little bit. We're gonna bring the pointing back. Well, this, this, this is unique. Let's give a round of applause for Simply Fly. Up close and personal. Making sure they don't take us out up here. Oh yeah. Let's keep all of our elected officials seated. We don't want to take you guys out. You know, we just the wing of the plane. To work on here. <laughs> all right, we made it. All right. If you ever have the chance to fly in downtown Chicago on a plane like that. You gotta do it. It is outstanding. Or taking it a cruise. Mangalina is an adventure too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Here comes extreme power tumbling. XPECT is a competitive trampoline and tumbling team with numerous state, regional, and even national champions. Extreme power tumbling travels all over the US, competing in power tumbling on trampolines and on double mini and rod floors at USA Gymnastics competitions. Find out more about them at extremepowertumbling.com. That's extreme without an E. Find them on social media as Extreme Power Tumbling or XPT. Gonna do a Time to see it. some of their cool tricks. XPT. Right, XPT. 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 XPT, let's hear it. All right, let's give a round of applause for that. That's amazing. Whoa, Look at whoa. That. No pads, no nothing. That's amazing. Woo. Oh, Roar, you can do better than that. Wow. Maybe you want to go out there and do a cartwheel. Almost, almost. <laughs> Great job, XPT. Quite impressive. That is impressive. XPT. Are they starting their own cheers here? Uh oh. XPT. We go catch up with them in Chicago. Wow. Thank you, XPT in the house. Focus. That was definitely extreme power tumbling right there. That was, that was impressive. Uh-oh. We wait. We want to give a shout out to, again, all of our media partners. We see Jason Crane from The Voice. I think he's live on Facebook as well. Thanks to The Voice. Thanks to Londa for always being front and center at every parade. We appreciate you. 
Thanks to ACTV, Beacon News, Daily Herald, and ABC7 Chicago. Coming up is the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. This is the helicopter known unofficially as the Huey. It's a military helicopter powered by a single turbo shaft engine with a two-bladed main rotor and a tail rotor. The helicopter was developed by Bell Helicopter as a medical evacuation and utility chopper in 1952 and first flew in October 1956. The first combat operation of the Huey was in the service of the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. About 7,000 UH-1 aircraft saw service in Vietnam. You should plan a visit to the Air Classics Museum out at the Aurora Municipal Airport to see it up close, personal, and learn more. Thank you, Mr. Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the largest ROTC unit in the United States of America, East Aurora NJROTC. They are celebrating 20 years of excellence. Thank you to the Tomcat Navy, the largest unit in the United States of America. That's right. With more than 700 student cadets, they are carrying the American flag, the Navy flag, the East Aurora flag, and the Aurora flag and the United States of America flag joined by other youth groups here in the city of Aurora. Let's give a round of applause again for the East Aurora NJ ROTC. Lisa Milson Morales, good to see you all. Yeah, why was East and West where I have joined together this Independence Day to carry this giant American 50-foot flag? Let's give another round of applause for our youth from the East and the West sides of Aurora coming together. That's right. Following from the mayor, one Aurora. Doesn't matter from east or the west, we are from Aurora. That's what makes Aurora the best. All right, all right. Speaking of east is east, west is west, but in a world we're all the best. The baddest marching band around. Save the best for last. We have the West Aurora 295 member Black Heart Marching Band and excited to be here for Aurora celebration of the Independence Day. The band performs for all home football games, local festivals and parades. But today they are performing their traditional patriotic medley Oh yeah, let's take a listen to our West Aurora Blackhawk. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Our West Aurora Blackhawk marching band. Blackhawks, Dr. Schuler leading the way. We have Dr. Schuler, the director of bands in the, in the front. Always an impressive, impressive display. Let's hear for West Aurora Marching Band! Shout out to Christian Walls! Uh oh, that's right. That's a Christian Walls over here. He was waiting for that while he was waiting for that.
Dr. Dan Woods from our traffic division. Give him a round of applause for his dedication and service to Aurora. And that ends the 2017 Fourth of July Parade. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give Mr. Martinez and Mr. Ferrelli another round of applause? Thank you for celebrating with us.